scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The king put a price tag. Three things. Whoever is able to kill Goliath, number one, he will be you will receive the king's daughter for a wife two he and his family will be exempted from tax three he will be given great riches and honor and david said that's a deal let me teach you a great mystery never fight any battle till you know what the reward is there are foolish battles without rewards you sweat and kill yourself and at the end you find out there's no reward never fight any battle until you know what the reward is Is God helping us? I teach our school of ministry students um, certain things, and let me let me just borrow this from one of the. Um, I teach them this under finance. Until there is a problem that you can solve, you are unnecessary. Write this and let me show you the key to what we call inferiority, the key to what we call complex. This bitterness and hatred we have towards great people. There is nobody that was born to just be following others. We decide our destinies. Until there is a problem that you can solve, it is unnecessary. If you are not sick, you don't need Benny Hinn. If you are not foolish, you don't need Mike Modoc. Are we together now? If you are not sick, you don't need a doctor. You don't need any furniture work you don't need a carpenter as much as doctors like healing people and ministering health to people the only way they continue eating is when they are sick people oh you have a problem go and lie down while you are lying down the victim the person who brought you goes to the cashier doesn't sit down in the office you go to the cashier you pay am i right please yes the doctor sympathizes with you dear lord the god of heaven will help you but while that is happening you are paying the doctor his salary somewhere is that true i see many things in my life i cannot do for myself and i'm shocked how much i pay for it and i'm surprised and almost um, sad that i will continue to pay for it why do you pay someone in a restaurant you don't have the knowledge or the time to cook so the one who can do the cooking collects the money is that true yes away with this anger at people there are some of us who watch our loved ones do this resentment for people there are people who see men of god with crowds god has honored them and they are angry so 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 man of god so 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 church it's not all about the crowd do you think people are idiots a man can be stupid but a crowd cannot be stupid are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says where the carcasses are there the eagle will gather eagles are wise people don't just sit down and commit their time to hear nonsense no value discover and develop problem solving abilities write it down discover and develop problem solving abilities 
every one of us here will succeed to the degree to which we train and build and many times receive the ability to solve problems i am passionate the day i discovered this i made up my mind i would never harass god over my my destiny again because i knew that it was in my hands if nobody is looking for you as a music artist it's a sign that you are not solving problems or you have not made it known i will share other laws if this guy raises a song now it is because that song is ministering to people he never sleeps he never slumbers who is that he solved your problem the song didn't make meaning to you till the day you saw f the song didn't make meaning till three days to your wedding and you still needed 1.2 million all of a sudden you didn't need to hear Kirk Franklin you took Don Moen he never sleeps he never slumbers and all of a sudden you now found out that ah this is why this man is blessed you that you don't need it now does not mean another person does not need it what a time we live in where there is a need for everything everything good or bad there is a need of course we are believers you don't do bad things but i'm saying every good and perfect gift has a need on earth value value everything that constitutes an advantage in your life is a bailout system to get out of mediocrity get out of failure there are people like bishop td jakes uh, i was listening to one of his messages and he says there was a woman who made millions simply because of her fingers someone saw her fingers and started spotting the rings the rings of their designer the rings that they make and i mean millions everything god gave you is an advantage esther got to the throne not just because she was bright she proved that she was bright later on her beauty took her to the throne it's an advantage samson could kill the lion and all of that is an advantage everything in your life do not allow men especially church people to destroy your gift now you must be guided to use it especially sensitive gifts there are gifts that are very sensitive and if not guided you will lose your work with god just to get money however there is nothing god gave you that is for waste are we together now thank you your destinies are the mercy of the discovery and the development of your problem solving abilities be a master at providing solutions and you will never be ignored be a master at providing solutions and i guarantee you, you will never be ignored at best you will be criticized by ignorant people and those who are intimidated by you and what you represent but not to be ignored be a master at solving something you must solve a problem don't sit down and roam around getting angry and hoping one day one day it go better that's a wise saying that has never worked for anybody the best way to predict your future is to create it don't sit down and wish and hope and wait you stand up and create it there are people who see men of God and the privilege of the blessings that he has brought, the influence, the prosperity and all of that, and people get angry. You know, people just look at a man of God and say, if a man of God is preaching the gospel and then you are this blessed, you see, if you are ignorant, just keep it to yourself so that it's easy for God to help. When you spread it, you implicate yourself the more. The Bible says, even a fool, when he's silent, is regarded what? There is no man of God who is blessed because he's preaching. Every man of God is blessed because he's providing supernatural solutions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are spiritual in their context, but they are supernatural. Now, you see, God's reward system is such that whether you sell your value or give it free, for as long as there is a dispensing of value, you must be rewarded. That's why a preacher will not charge you for anything. Yet God will reward him. I will never beg for bread. It's not pride. It's the truth. 
because for as long as there is one sinner to be saved for as long as there is one sick body to be healed for as long as there is one mind to be transformed for as long as there is one person desire of us of an encounter i remain valuable that's why the bible says when you see darkness covering the earth rejoice your light has come it's time for you to shine the presence of darkness is proof that you are an endangered species and nobody will push you out like that say i am valuable shout it i am valuable say in the name of jesus from today i take responsibility and i create a desirable future by solving problems every job advertisement is a declaration of need by that company we need a secretary what they are trying to tell you is that we have seen a deficiency in our services we need to outsource intelligence whoever can qualify for that receives the job is that true you must be valuable let me give you a key master one thing first you see this issue of deception i am highly multi-talented which of them has brought bread to your table i'm not i don't argue that there are many arrogant people moving around saying i'm multi-talented say what can you do you say it depends on what you want i can do everything growing up i found out i can sing i can do this you see people what do you do you say anything you sell water excellently i mean i mean i are you in real estate yes i am are you in this i am i make hair too i can cook you know you see a restaurant, one side is carpentry, one side they are selling food, another side they are selling drugs and selling gin and selling all kinds of things. You must be specific. Your value brands you. It helps everybody know when to need you. There is nobody you see who does only what they are known for. But like the door to a house, every house has what you call a master door. Everybody say a master door. It is the master door that gives you access to other doors. If the master door is closed, you cannot access the door to the kitchen. You can't access the door to the toilet. So there are other potentials, but there is one that will bring you to notoriety. Are we together now? Learn this. Don't just tell people I can do everything. I, then it means I don't need you. I don't need you. If I want to sing, I need the worship team. If our sound is bad, it's yours begging the technical. Help us. If we need order, we need the protocol department. If we need media capture and then following with our social media platforms, we need the media department. Any department we don't need has not been created in this ministry. The day the need arises, we create it. Just like you. You roam around and there's nothing to draw men to you when jesus showed up the bible says in the book of mark one two three when you read he said all men seek for thee all men seek for thee they don't seek you just because they love you the world is full of people who also want to achieve their goals whoever is valuable becomes the center of attraction miles munro dr miles munro gave us a very beautiful analogy and this is how he put it he said during um, now let me use it in our context Nigerians when it is rainy season everybody starts looking at a mango tree happy and expectant the same mango tree you will sit under and gist for hours and argue and not even know the color and look at everything but the moment it is rainy season and the mango fruit start coming out are we together people come and they can climb trees and do everything you know i had to cut the mango tree at my place because in the night there were all kinds of things you would hear someone walking literally just climb the tree and trying to catch the ones that were trapped you know and all of that early in the morning five o'clock god is my witness you hear people running once it rains or wind shakes the place in like 10 minutes somebody's around with pocket fighting and i said no i can't continue so i took away that value from that environment and naturally the people went somewhere else listen this is how nations attract attention they come up with policies that create problems then when it creates problems you come and meet them and say i thought i told you let's negotiate and you refused now there is a problem and you need us here are the terms may you be so valuable 
that no price pays on you becomes too much that you are so valuable be as valuable as oil look at oil during scarcity when you want to put fuel gas you are on the queue it is your money yet you are still begging somebody helps you to pass and you say thank you sir yet you paid that's called value that you are so valuable that people bless you and call it a privilege are we together now I aspire as a person to be so valuable to the body serving the purposes of the kingdom within the, the dimension of the grace and calling he has given me that no level of physical and spiritual reward it is my desire that nobody will ever bless me one day thinking he did me a favor value value somebody sowed a seed into my life one time and in two days something dramatic happened in his life and he called me say apostle i have another one i said that's it it's not that i need the seed but i said you see that nobody leaves what works human beings are not stupid when people change for from uh, they change formulas and all of that is because it's not working the day you shake hands with somebody how are you sir and he says good morning and from that day people come and queue in his shop the day you are passing say bros come now i have free your god for you because he has identified like um obededom that something was introduced to his environment that brought him an advantage the law of value i learned this law it changed my life by the privilege of God's grace this is what is helping us as a ministry the more valuable we become to the purposes of God the agenda of God and the needs of men the more we continue to rise a day will come when we will wave the flags of nations tens and hundreds of nations why because our value would have extended to those territories they will come yes they will come for as long as there is sickness in the world they will come for as long as there is oppression they will come people flow from the realm of ignorance to where there is knowledge pray one prayer as we continue lord whatever has made men ignore me whatever has made my helpers ignore me i receive grace to work on myself don't just blame the devil and keep insulting people my father didn't do this my mother didn't do this outside inside online pray make me valuable Make me valuable. So valuable. In the area of designs, make me valuable. As a tailor, let me not be a tailor that is when every other professional tailor rejects, then they come to me. As a caterer, let me be so exceptional. As a businessman, let me be so exceptional. As a student, let me be so exceptional let my education center let my school be so exceptional that men will want to come there to identify with it let the anointing on my life be so exceptional that gentiles will run to that light and their kings to the brightness of my rising lord let me have something to give my generation i'm tired of escorting people i'm tired of competition pray I'm tired of hating people and blaming people. There is something you have put within my spirit that can give me a place among the great. There is a place you have put upon my spirit that can compel the loyalty of my helpers. Give me grace to be valuable. Grace to be valuable. hallelujah are you learning something never forget this your reward is tied to your value your reward listen we were not designed to live off miracles a miracle is a sign that something went wrong and god is stepping supernaturally we were designed to live by principles principles a miracle is god's intervention but you cannot you can get miracle money but you don't you don't live with miracle money you live with principles 
you can get the act of God's mercy step into your life in a season but if you want to be great it has to be by laws are you getting blessed the Lord is leading us he's helping us you may look weak now but take what I'm saying seriously and watch your life grows follow these laws and you watch your desires follow you like the animals came helplessly to the ark of Noah you may not believe me but believe the truth I'm teaching hallelujah the third law that I want to teach you connecting with the second law now wherever we can stop tonight there's a lot to cover is the law of competence and excellence the law of value talks of recognition of what you have but the law of excellence competence and excellence the fourth law that governs God's success systems please listen carefully Proverbs 22 29 please give it to us media very fast the law of competence everybody say competence say excellence one more time say competence say excellence now if you're a believer read that scripture projected let's read together one two read seest thou a man aha uh -huh, diligent in his business he shall stand before kings he shall not stand before mean men no specific person no specific person seest thou a man not the man any man any man who chooses to assume this posture of diligence that produces competence produces excellence remember we define terminologies excellence is maintaining is is the highest producing the highest quality at your level excellence producing the highest quality at your level excellence means to surpass ordinary standards I read a book years ago called the enemy an enemy called average by john mason i think that was 2005 or so and that book changed my life forever because you see many of us especially africans were born in this lifestyle of mediocrity and when we give our lives to christ sometimes if not correctly taught we think that what we have come into is a license and an excuse for mediocrity mediocrity means living in a common realm having no passion for surpassing the ordinary there is nothing mediocre that eventually becomes great it may not be bad but it will not bring you to greatness the law of competence write this down competence and excellence are magnets competence and excellence are magnets attracting people attracting opportunities attracting resources competence and excellence are magnets attracting people attracting opportunities attracting resources we're on our way to better days. You see us sing this song? We're on our way to better days. It's not just a special number. It's the truth. We're on our way to better days. Have you learned to use that magnet called excellence? Discovering your potentials. Obeying the law of value. Is a good start but in itself will not activate success systems in your life it is value that is excellently dispensed value that is communicated with competence what is competence thoroughness predictability of results there are many anointed people who are not competent competence in anything there are business people who are not competent there are students who are not competent there are workers who are not competent your certificate gives you a job your competence promotes you 
your certificate gives you a job and that's where it stops it is competence that promotes you every time a company is about to be downsized who do you think are the ones that they send away the ones that the company perceives to be less valuable in terms of competence discovery is important but development qualifies you to sit with the great discovery is important but development refining is what qualifies you to sit with the great you don't sit at the seat of greatness simply because you discovered your potentials that is important but alongside the law of value knowing your difference is not alone enough building your difference to a point that is worthy of reward is what we are talking about um someone was over i think he was the head of department um media he was over at my place and um you know he was served a very sumptuous very very sumptuous meal and you know i was just watching him serving himself and helping himself adding this adding that adding chicken adding fish adding this and i was watching him and then i told him i said if this were a restaurant how much will you pay and then he looked i i, I was just reminiscing on my teaching tonight listen please help me with this how much is this 20 naira let's say 100 naira let's use a round figure this is 100 naira will you pay 1000 naira for this i'm not talking of free will donation will you go to a shop and pay 1000 why what will you say if i sell this 1000 to you it's too much because you feel that this is valuable but not to that degree is that true if your school fees is 30000 you may not complain even if you complain you may just pay it there is no school that has if you go take your child to a school and they tell you that school is 100 naira will you admit your child there I know you are crying recession but you carry your heart and child except if you just got somebody from the street but you took your child how much is the school fees and you're about bringing out your checkbook and no 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 sir it's 100 naira 100 naira for what for the entire three three um, um what they call them three terms first term second term third term say that's how we are in this school automatically you already know what is going to happen to the destiny of your child There are times that the prices of things are high but we are happy paying for them because we know that there has been development to a level that will commensurately pay you is that true yes competence reject mediocrity write it down i reject mediocrity you have to write it personalize it don't say we reject this is not a corporate thing you must reject it personally there are many believers who are not competent. Apostle, I make hair. Pray for my, my, um, my, what, what they call, my salon. Someone comes to your salon, you burn their hair. You charge high. You finish late. You are frowning. Heat is killing them there. And close to, close to the, um, the television is one bottle of anointing oil there very dirty dusty around dirty place the gutter is smelling there's a bottle of minerals close to that gutter and you say please pay 100 naira for it and the person says, what what is your idea of me just because i came to spend three hours to make my hair praise god people have traveled from region to region to go somewhere and be able to buy certain things because they are looking for quality let me tell you not everyone is afraid of quality there are people who have conquered price what they are looking for is quality did you hear what i said yes oh but if i put quality everybody around my area cannot pay for it you don't need everybody one person can equal 200 mediocre one person who likes you pastor david biome was sharing and saying that he noticed that the, those who sold his clothes they will collect measurement of 11 and sew 30. he said they, they will never return back to him again 
but then one they would sew three clothes the same measurement one would look as if you know and then the other one he said what sort of people are you you are not competent and some of them were members of his church he said no i love you but i can't use you then he found somebody who charged twice the price and he looked at the person and he said why are you charging twice the price and the person says sir i know what i can deliver according to him and he says okay i'm impressed let me give you a trial he said when he came back with that clothes david Biome said that's it you are the one who will sow my traditionals now one david Biome is what some cities i think i like that kind of business why labor to get two 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 naira from everybody when i can get one million from one loyal person don't allow environment make you compromise on quality because impressions 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 are important you give a negative impression about your shop the day you change people will still think you are like yesterday you now went for a three months tailoring school and now you have become a pro tailor but everybody looks at you and says don't waste your time going to that woman do you know god is my witness i once saw a wedding cloth ejimi wedding a lady's wedding gown i never would believe they sold that thing in nigeria i thought it was maybe you know london school of tailoring or one of these um gucci or versace and all of that and they told me a, the tailor made a tailor in the north here i mean with with a level of precision now those people are not noisemakers you may not see them on facebook but they are the types if you call them they don't even pick your call if you are ready to spend five hundred thousand on a wedding gown get to them in a year they, they sew for 100 people only they are building estates and other people are there saying say it depends on your level which type if you want for ten thousand i can sew and then a night to the wedding that's when they bring it and it's raining you can't wash it they bring a white wedding gown that is smelling fabric is bad is torn they say you know they, you didn't finish paying yourself you you spoil another person's wedding simply because of incompetence and he said please if you know any other person bring no no nobody does that listen excellence is self-marketing excellence is self-marketing being excellent to one person is the same as attracting 100 people. The money you will use to attract 100 people can be saved in creating an excellent outcome. Everybody say excellence. Look at me. There are many of us right now. What you are writing on, what you are writing on is a piece of paper that you could not even tear orderly that is a piece of paper is an issue but the discipline to just tear it and create synergy you don't have that patience you just tear everything and you are writing something that will change your destiny you're not excellent you see excellence is a culture it starts from your life you don't try to pretend it outside you eat you don't wash the plate you are not excellent you wash the plate you don't throw away the dirty water you are not excellent you use the same soap to bath wash clean mop or the same rag your sponge case for your shoe you are not excellent are we together don't laugh at anybody god is speaking to you you enter to bath like i was teaching school of ministry students some of you bath in one minute you they ask you a question you are answering it while you are bathing you will think you are flushing the toilet you just hear Shah, and you are out no you are not excellent sir you are not excellent are we together wearing one boxer for two weeks you are not excellent wearing one torn singlet smelling it to see if it's still usable you are not excellent ironing clothes with sweat on it and seeing it rise and you are, you are not excellent Are we together you are laughing ask those who this thing has cost them so much do you know just there are people someone like me i eat emotionally before my mouth touches it 
presentation matters as much as what it is. You don't cook nonsense and say the most important thing is your body. No. Why did God give me eyes? <laughs> Are we together now? You have a restaurant. I carry your spoon. Somebody took Gary with the spoon. And you, obviously they were washing it in a hurry and you see the trace. Why should I remain there? Let's tell ourselves the truth tonight. Success systems. There's oil all around. They have to call you, Madam, come and clean this table now. You just send one lady who frowns around, comes out as if everybody has offended her, just pushes the rag across the table. <laughs> Pours the water on you and goes. Madam, give me rice, beans, towel, and one other part. She goes to go and bring swallow. No attention to details. After 20 or I'm showing us little things. No attention to details. Iron someone's cloth. You go and burn the cloth. You don't know how much the cloth is. I say, sir, uh, I, I decided. I, I remember one guy who wanted me to start um, doing dry cleaning with him. And so he said he wanted to do so. I said, okay, let me try you. I gave him a suit. He returned it after like one month. I don't know what he did on it. I said, thank you. I gave it to somebody and I knew that even him, he knew that he had lost that opportunity forever. Let's stop saying God is not looking down on us. I'm showing you how God comes but we cannot receive because we don't understand his systems. One day, I will cook for the governor. Who are you? With what you are doing now? You are not training yourself. The governor is not an idiot. The government house is not a zoo. If you want to cook well, you must be competent. Don't throw anything at anybody. Are we together now? How about Babas? How about Babas? How about Babas? There are people who pay as much as four or five thousand just to bob their hair. You think they are lavishing money, they are not ready to risk their hair. Are we together? You bring out a clipper, you don't even know whether it's sharp or not, you injure someone. All around because you are babbing. Don't don't love these are ways that anything can take you to the top if it's excellent. It's not just shell, it's not just oil and gas, it's a determination to be thorough. Pay attention to details, listen to the instructions. No assumption. You met somebody. God is introducing a great businessman to you. About to take a risk with you. He says, call me by 2 p.m. tomorrow. It's by 1.30 you sleep. Are you a serious person? You get up and start ringing his phone by 4. I say, no, you have to pray. Apostle, this guy is not picking my, my call. Why should he pick your call? Maybe that guy is in church for evening service. Maybe he's a deacon. You are ringing by 7. You are ringing his number. He told you, call me by 2. Someone tells you, I want to give you a job. I want to help you. Come by 2. You stroll carelessly by 2.30 and say, Uncle, just to let you know I'm around. You know, you won't get the job. Because some jobs, are the, the lives of people are dependent on it. Excellence. You have one shoe. You polish it. You comb your hair well. Don't dress around like a thief going to the house of God. You look smart. Say, I'm not, I'm not a man of God. It doesn't mean you should be like that. You are smart. It's not about having money. Excellence. Your notebooks, you bind them well. If they are torn, you fix them. You fix your Bible. Are we together now? Your environment is neat. Very neat. We come into your kitchen, we see it neat. We come into your toilet, we see it neat. We come into the living room. We see it neat. That's excellence. Don't say we were not trained that way. That's why God is bringing you. Koinonia is a school and you are learning. Are we together? Is God helping us? The law of competence. How to be competent? Quickly. Now that I've challenged you on mediocrity. How do I become competent? Number one. 
you must have a reference you cannot be excellent and competent when there is no reference a reference means an individual that reflects your aspiration there must be someone even if you plan to surpass that level there must be a reference oh i want to become a great worship minister i have a reference like don moen now that gives you a standard to start climbing the ladder when you become like don moen you now earn the right to go higher but not when you are down i want to be great like who i'm unique oh yes you are unique but you need a reference the bible said ask for the ancient parts that means someone walked in it before you are you hearing what i'm saying now you must have a reference look at me hold on mike if you do not have a reference for ministry for business you want to become a great man of god like who who represents a model because that's the life you are going to understudy that's going to be your case study i want to become a business mogul like who you just mentioned one hilarious name how many videos of that person do you have have you ever gone for a seminar organized by that person no competence and excellence is based on a reference i always challenge every department in this ministry to have a modern ministry whose whose um whose who reflect their aspiration so every department has a reference that they can look up to for inspiration references are important because we draw inspiration from them if your reference is small your outcomes will be small you see when your references are people of mediocrity you will hit it too fast even when you don't do much and so you will not aspire to rise number two how to be competent submit yourself to mentorship now that you have references i told you last week that mentorship and training is the only way to be successful trust me when i say this mentorship is not listening to a man mentorship is submitting yourself to build the character the traits the habits the principles and the secrets of a man submitting yourself to build the character the traits the habits the principles the secrets I take it again the character the traits the habits the principles the secrets of a man that's what you do when you are when you are receiving mentorship it's not just to go and package yourself for nothing no you sit down why is this person getting these results what is he doing that I'm not doing why does Benny Hinn stand on stage and 40 people rise up on the wheelchair and he has not started praying is it that god is unfair to me god you called me to have the healing anointing but what is it about what's the difference between me and benny then you study his prayer life you may never have that close access to him so you take advantage of his materials you know a lot of people call me and say sir i want you to mentor me can i be calling you anytime i say no he says, sir, so how do you mentor me? I said, that's why I'm teaching. I'm teaching all the time. There's Koinonia Radio. Our teachings are free. Listen, they say I have it. I said, that's why you will never learn. Mentorship is not listening to a radio program or a TV program. I've shared with a school of ministry students. There are times it takes me three days to watch a one-hour video. Three days to watch a one-hour video. Because almost every two, two minutes I'm stopping. This man said this. I have to listen that's mentorship you submit yourself to read between the lines ah he just said the power of god will touch somebody outside and somebody was shouting how did he know was that the word of knowledge man this guy is powerful that's excitement that's not mentorship there are too many excited people who just see results and don't know the secrets i was told i don't know if it's true or not but i was told one great man of god bishop um, abioye that one time one man said he wanted to you know find out the secret of his prayer life and he said fine 
let's pray and that they prayed after a long time the guy was yawning he wanted to sleep and then bishop abio told him okay we've given thanks now let's pray and the guy was almost died <laughs> If that story is true, that guy is not wise. What do you think the anointing is? You think the anointing is a charm? Even a charm, go and ask a herbalist the price for a charm that can throw a man down. Not give him miracles, just push a man against gravity. The secret of great men is in their stories. Pay attention when a great man is giving you examples. Pay attention when a great man is giving you stories. They are trying to bring a principle. Many people laugh at the stories. Parables and mysteries enshrined in stories. You can see the stories and laugh. And be raptured by the humor of the communication. And miss out on the meaning of it. I'm not against laughing. Be happy. But you must be able to see when others are looking. Are we together? Submit yourself to mentorship. Number three understand believe and live by the principles land how to be competent one you must have a reference to submit yourself to mentorship three understand believe and live by the principles land it's not enough to just say i know he told me this understand what you are being taught believe what you have been taught let me tell you something i have discovered something with the body of christ many people who supposedly submit themselves to mentorship don't believe half of what they are being told when you don't believe a man don't ever listen to him for mentorship because you'll be wasting your time you have a right to vet a man and do you believe this don't sit down and you are not complete you are not producing any result and you are there and someone is teaching on the anointing i say no i don't just because he made a mistake with one Greek word, he said, no, I have the, the modern lexicon. Or God, who, who, who did you get out of a wheelchair? Whose eye opened? That's the summary of this thing we're talking about. Whose eye opened? Whose life changed? You prophesied on somebody, everything was wrong. Sit down. Sit down. Don't just say the person does not have faith. You are, you are, you are, you are messing up. If it's not working, it's not working. Sit down when i see people who communicate dimensions that are not at work in my life even if i don't exactly understand what they are saying i sit down and try to discern the spirit of what they are saying because sometimes it may be that they are not able to communicate maybe a businessman a smart businessman who is let's say um he's somebody who is not very he just used street sense but in that street sense he kept acquiring principles now he may be sharing business secrets he may not intelligently articulate it like someone who went to harvard business school will but you can discern the spirit of his communication not to sit down and say Kai, this carpenter now wow. but he's the number one carpenter do you know why rich people are coming to him maybe the man every two two months he will package a seed and squeeze it and take it to his reverend that may be his edge while you are listening to him one day in passing he will reveal a secret and say that's my pastor let me tell you something see that man that man is powerful say talk to me say i used to the only thing i used to make before was coughing and then one day he called me prophesied to me now i make bed i even have a timber shed now he did not say it intelligently but you have picked a principle years ago i was in abuja and i took a cab when i took a cab we were discussing with the driver because sometimes i crack jokes with them say ah oh god you poor are enjoying this ah my chama and abba i'm not enjoying and then he, we we're talking about money and then later the man said oh god you know say this money eh that the thing has a spirit and then i started listening to him he said do you know that he tried to build a house in abuja he tried and tried could not build but he said he saved and took the money out of abuja and in four months he built I discerned something that guy was saying he was communicating a deep mystery but because of his the barrier in communication are we together now listen if you don't have results in your life you are not a colleague to the person who has results sit down humble yourself believe 
learn if you don't believe it will not work for you you don't only believe the principle you must believe the communicator are we together now yes. a woman didn't go to school she's taking care of 10 of her children and you are there i am a lawyer i'm a barrister and the madam is saying let me tell you this i flogged my child from age one to seven when my child was in my womb i was anointing my womb with oil now he's not saying you should repeat the anointing discern the mystery of what she was saying she may now tell you that i took one night vigil for all my children before they were born you are now learning secrets you apply the same thing and change any dull head in your life to an intelligent child no matter what the limitations are listen one of the greatest ways of receiving mentorship is observation don't wait for a great man to tell you everything there are people who look and say ah, is this all there are people who have never seen but observe you observe when the power of god is about to come how does he behave observation observation jesus was speaking to them and saying, you can look at the clouds and through observation know that it is rainy season you can learn a lot through observation every time you enter the presence of a great man be observant you see him keeping laws oh somebody disappoints him and he doesn't quarrel the person in public he says okay that's all right we'll go and see oh oh god the poor man now wants to kneel down and says all right let's go you are learning you are the one who quarrels your house help in front of everybody and before you know it they start calling the house help the name you are calling you insult your wife in front of everybody don't mind this useless woman very soon your friend will say that's why he's calling you a useless woman because you are making men reflect what you are communicating principles say i receive grace to be observant say it again i receive grace to be observant and then number four the fourth way to be competent remain connected never disconnect from those who lift you up it's foolishness a time may come in your life you feel you don't need them again in terms of the dynamics of what they are teaching you but that's when great men fall no matter how tall a skyscraper is it remains for as long as he's still connected to the ground there's no skyscraper that says i am i am 500 meters into the air i can disconnect no sir are we together yes are you learning let me give us two more laws and then we'll be done is God helping us? <laughs> you know, look at this. Let me tell you this. If you're a businessman, listen twice to what I'm teaching you. And everybody's in business, I hope you know. Business is simply solving a problem for an agreed reward. It's not wearing suits and sitting in business class. Business is solving a problem for an agreed reward. Simple. Most men think men of God don't know anything about business, you know. When they look at men of God, they just feel we are just daft people. You are praying and fasting. You don't know anything. See, see, still this pride we are talking about. What do you think managing people is? What do you think managing resources are? What do you think multiplying them is? Are we together now? The law of the mind. Number what? Number four. Am I right? Five. Thank you. Number one is, I'm the one teaching, listen. Number one is the law of relationships. Am I right? Number two, the law of value. Number three, the law of competence and excellence. Oh, that's true. How to be competent is part of it. Number four, the law of the mind. Jesus. The law of the mind. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. Is God helping us? As I teach you, you should be seeing the loopholes. What laws you are not keeping. That is deactivating the systems of success in your life. 23 verse 7 Proverbs. For as he thinketh in his heart. 
it's interchanged with the word mind so is he not so he will be as you are thinking you already are the bible creates your um references your physical reality to what is happening in your mind the bible says in proverbs 4 23 guard your heart proverbs 4 23 guard your heart with all diligence it says for from out of it are the issues of life guard it it is a guard your head it is a guard your legs guard your heart you don't cover yourself the worst is you catch cold and mosquitoes can disturb you but you don't protect your mind you will fail in life listen being filled with the holy spirit does not negate the need to transform and build your mind the law of the mind what does it state as it is in your mind so it will be in your life as it is in your mind so it will be in your life trust me your physical reality is a messless reflection of the summation of your understanding your thought patterns as it is in your mind so it will be in your life a great mentor says you become what you think about how true you become what you think about your life is a reflection of your most dominant thoughts your life is a reflection the quality of your life today is a reflection of your understanding about god about life the quality of your life today is a reflection of your paradigms are we getting blessed the mind is a mystery that i want all of us we've had several teachings here on the mind but it's important for you to understand the mind my life changed this law alone changed me like day and night the law of the mind that my the quality of my life today is a reflection of my mind your mind is a miracle your mind is a gold mine it literally is literally is literally is write this down your mind is an extraordinarily fertile garden your mind is an extraordinarily fertile garden full stop write it down your mind is an extraordinarily fertile garden it will grow any seed planted and watered it will grow any seed that is planted and watered in our greek science they teach that there are several kinds of soils i don't know if they've discovered others but as far as i remember they taught loamy soil clay soil what other one sandy soil and every other auxiliary one that comes as a combination of them your mind is in is a perfect garden sustaining the ability to grow any seed that is planted and watered no matter what is planted in your mind if it lands on that soil and you water it and i'll tell you how to water it it must grow unfortunately it does not grow in your mind it grows in your life you plant it in your mind it grows in your life look at your life the summation of everything in your life your finances your peace your understanding your excellence your relationships everything in your life is a sum total of your paradigm it's an uncomfortable truth many people will not want to admit but it's true apostle nothing is working no friends in my life no favor in my life there is an inaccurate understanding or a poor understanding you are sustaining listen your ignorance is a seed you can plant it in your mind and it will bring you a bumper harvest let me tell you what ignorance produces pain frustration disappointment these are all harvests of the seed of ignorance it's rainy season all the time in your mind your mind has no dry season it's rainy season all the time capacity to produce anything there's no barrenness with the mind there's only wrong seeds planted in the mind 
and I'm standing here only because you made you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way and we're standing here only because Sing it one more time outside of salvation is not the healing of your body listen carefully there are people with no legs who are changing the world there are people with no eyes who are changing the world but there is nobody with an unfruitful mind who can change the world the worst thing that can happen to a man is not his eyes missing not the legs not the mouth there is a scientist I don't know his name who had a, a disease that literally crippled him yet he's one of the smartest scientists in the world nothing else in your life is worth crying for till you lose your mind the worst sickness in life is madness not blindness not blindness madness if I give you one billion and I make you mad have I blessed you please talk to me yes there are people who have built empires in fact there's a book like that empires of the mind and it's worth reading very powerful book you have to learn and understand this mystery called the mind many believers are not interested like some of you probably are as i'm talking now you're like, oh mind bring another thing now look you will never be great i'm sharing with you the principles that i have lived by you have seen the anointing and the grace of god upon my life i'm showing you the other sides to these success systems because many people just think oh these people are just privileged no sir these are systems they make your life and your outcome predictable. You never truly rise above your mindset. You never truly rise. Underline the word truly. You never truly rise above your mindset. You may jump above it for a while, but I assure you, you will never truly rise your life will only rise to match the level of your mindset no matter how you manipulate it your mindset is what shows the quality of your life i wrote down something here i want you to listen to i don't know if you can have the speed to write it but listen first if you attempt to change your life without changing your mind your mindset will compel behaviors that will force your life to return back and reflect the level of your mind you know how you pull a rubber ring you can pull it and it becomes elastic and you think it will remain like that the moment you push it what happens it returns back that's how many people are if you attempt to change your life change your shoe <laughs> change your suit change your hair change watch change cars and all these mundane things that we use around to prove that you are successful you attempt to change them first without changing your mind your mind will cause them to disappear until your life returns back to the level of your mind see i have seen this thing work too many times have you i've given this example here i believe have you seen someone that you used a dress for one year and people will think you just sold it because the dress 
is reflecting the quality of your mindset. That maintenance culture of excellence reflected on the dress. Carry it as a gift and give a tongue-talking, careless believer who is not prepared to work on their minds. Give them two weeks. You know what you see? The shirt will reflect their mind. They won't iron it. They won't wash it. The color will change. They won't care. It will tear. They won't sew it. Later on, you will check and see that they now use it to wash a car. Two months. Hollandis that you spent money to buy, you decided to sew it in two months. They are using it to wash motorcycle. That's the mindset. So that person's mindset changed that fabric to come back to the level. In my life, I've had the privilege by the grace of God to bless people financially. Usually they come and they tell you, sir, I have an idea. I have this. If you only give me this money, I will never return back. And I look at them and I say, what is your idea of success? Because you think all you need to be great. And I'm correcting many of us here right now because there are people about to make that mistake. You think all you need is 100,000, 200,000. If it left you, it is not your hand that took it away. It's your mind that took it away. So you must correct something in your mind first before having it back. Are we together now? The most difficult person to help is the man who is resistant to positive mental transformation. The most difficult person to help the most difficult person to help is the man who is resistant to positive mental transformation. The moment you find a man who is resistant to change in terms of mindset you have found a man who has defined himself as being hopeless I have seen great people rise and didn't pay attention to rise first in the mind I've seen people inherit money I've seen people win lottery millions of dollars and their mindsets created behavioral patterns that drove everything away from them having physical things without a transformed mind is like having a jeep without knowing how to drive it's not if you will have accident it's when are we together now you can manage to navigate your way driving nonsense and arrive safely and then one day you decide to pack passengers and travel that's the day you die you see that and you can die the death of a fool Listen, packaging without mental upgrade will lead to frustration. Write it, Nigerians. Packaging without mental upgrade will lead to, I was almost saying like lead to Nigeria, will lead to frustration. Packaging, you know what we call packaging? Paying attention to the physical form. Now it is important, appearance is important appearance is the seed for acceptance so don't don't ignore appearance is important because it is the seed for acceptance joseph had to shave his beard to stand before pharaoh so acceptance is the seed i mean appearance is the seed for acceptance however packaging having physical things around you now listen many of us young people have a very big there's a big mistake we're making everybody wants to buy a car everybody wants to buy a shoe oh that great man is wearing Versace is wearing Gucci wearing Louis Vuitton and me too I want to get all these designers I want to and then you now try and save and save and beg and steal and raise money and then buy the shoe buy the hair buy everything so physically you look let me tell you something a great man and a great name are not the same if your name is greater than you you are in trouble you must rise to get to the level of your name i will make your name great does not mean you are great it's, it's a disappointing thing for your name to be greater than you god makes your name great as an act of mercy so that you can quickly catch up Are we blessed? The law of the mind. 
there's too much packaging packaging i know people who years ago as students were behaving like bankers a student will buy a suit of forty thousand. a student will not cook no 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 i don't have that time i don't uh, i don't like okra soup do you have that option no whoever pays creates the rules you cannot somebody cannot pay and you say i don't like okra there are people who try to live a life you have not built your mind there are so many people holding briefcases today arrogant people you see them they move around wearing suits loitering our streets you ask them what do we do say it depends on which which company i have five companies uh i'm the ceo of this what do you do well we are into logistics what do you mean logistics logistics is like saying i'm studying science what do you do i'm into real real estate what do you know about real estate well my uncle gave me one land to sell you are not into real estate are we together now i am this i'm into that I'm, I'm i'm one of in fact by the grace of god it's just that i don't want to talk too loud i'm one of the top fashion people in this this town who knows you who has patronized you we make too much noise whereas our results cannot match it it is better for people to have a low expectation over you and then your results shock them than to make so much noise I can cook for 1,000 people. Just give me this money. I know what I'm saying. Is it cooking? What is there in cooking? Then the food is smelling smoke all around. Burnt the meat. Burnt the food. Burnt everything. Packaging is good. But have content. Have content. Build your mind. Buy the truth buy books buy materials i can spend the whole night teaching on the mind focus on changing your mind brothers and sisters and i promise you your life will change don't don't get into this pressure of living a fake life if all you have today is gary take it with honor use your 2000 naira buy a bible buy a book read Pay for seminars you are buying the truth you are investing your destiny yes i know you have one trouser the trouser is torn around sew it with honor let them laugh at you a day will come you will own a clothing line all these things somebody just finishes a graduate you are moving around when you are going somewhere you go and change ten thousand naira and um, you have twenty thousand savings you change twenty thousand to five five hundred naira new note and you just go and dash and say well this is part of what god has done now you take look at the fake life social media has helped us to live very fake lives now there are positive aspects of it people snap near cars that are not their own they stand near a plane and snap they do all kinds so you don't even know it's better for you to know where you are so that you can rise there is a way you live a life that is too fake you don't even know that is fake again are we together you go to a house that is not near your house stand in front of the gate just put one leg and snap and then you go around now let me tell you what you, every time you create expectations that are higher than your capacity what you do is that you cause men to expect more from you are we together packaging without mental upgrade will always lead to frustration there are many pastors i love them i love the body of christ but you see a lot of people this guy will wear suit you think if you match the ground every wheelchair will stand up wear the suit wear tie wear all kinds of things pocket square all kinds of things bible ipad another book one protocol one for whoever it is that is standing by the side and you hold the mic one scripture you can quote one prayer you can pray man of god i don't know what to do about my finances as well god will attend to your needs look at the answer he's giving no knowledge of the principles of the kingdom yet you are the first to spend all your money so every you go to a meeting like this you come for koinonia stand outside and snap and use it to publicize your church you say come there is an overflowing abundance of people 
there are four members in your church it's not a thing to laugh at god is going to lift you you see people live all kinds of fake lives you don't know what is true and what is not true you are selling rappers it's all right but you go somewhere to one big boutique and snap yourself and say me in one of my shops you are lying it is the truth that sets free brothers and sisters not everybody dances to a fake life there are people who can see you and say i know you are starting but i'm taking the risk to lift you and support you are we together yes say i receive grace to work on my mind first ladies some of you spend all kinds of hilarious amount on hair on rings on clothes on hands you are creating an impression are you working no well how much is your salary per month it just comes as as a favor opens up doors for me anyhow so why are you living like that a restaurant that everybody there is a ceo you too you enter there number one you have not grown to that level so you don't even know that they don't call people the, see with every lifting life teaches you the protocol of that realm when you force yourself into that realm you don't know the protocol of that realm if you have truly gotten to that level let me tell you the justice system of god is such that you will learn the day you can get to a restaurant where it's a buffet you will already know the precepts of that level be careful let me speak to some of us here who are leaders business leaders ministry people be careful as you attempt to lift people don't be so sympathetic about people that you lift them beyond their current level of dealing with god in a bid to help them you will expose them to dimensions they are not prepared for and it will destroy them sometimes you see people crying somebody just comes to you and says ah, i have a crusade eh? money is not coming say really oh yeah bring your account two million God is trying to teach him how to trust. You destroy that lecture. You gave the guy two million. Do you know what he's going to say? He will arrow. He was begging you, crying, but he will arrogantly stand before his members and say, "If you have ever doubted that there's oil on my head, go and check my bank account." Now that guy has not learned anything. Most people will use your help to prove that they had faith. They didn't know you helped them. Me, I don't pray. I don't pray. Things just happen in my life. I'm, I'm like that. I mean, all this. I don't waste my time praying because you somebody's you have been reaping somebody's seed the day your farm will be open you will see that uh, what they call that thing shifting cultivation that you have to allow a farm for it because you have allowed it bush fallow what they call all those agri terminologies you have to sit down for years tilling the ground you left for a long time corporate success is good for the organization but dangerous for individuals because you won't know who is really producing the result see they, let, let me let me encourage you everyone especially the workers in this ministry we share our success now i've taught in this ministry the principles of shared dominion if somebody says today apostle you are very anointed we share it i'm not anointed alone there were people who made that possible however be careful lest you hide in the midst of crowd to say we are moving forward are you moving forward that's the danger with things like group work. Ten people can do an assignment. Only two are serious. The remaining two will sleep. All of them will get nine over ten. And the other person will come and say, Kai, God is faithful. You are not smart. You are not learning. In the office, they give assignments. And they come and give everybody bonuses. And you are rejoicing, yet you are not growing. Enjoy corporate success. But vet yourself to make sure you are an active contributor. That your input is in that equation of success. How is the mind renewed? Quickly. If this is what we can take, we we'll just stop here. How is the mind renewed? We need to learn how to transform the mind. Number one, a recognition. Transformation starts with a recognition that your old ideas cannot take you to your destiny transformation of the mind starts with a recognition that your old ideas the ideas that are currently resident within your mind are not sufficient to take you to the place of destiny that's the first key a recognition 
that something I know now is limiting me or something I do not know is limiting me that's the first step whoever can recognize that that is my place of destiny but as it is where I am now cannot take me there leads us to point number two the second key to the renewal of the mind is access to new ideas access to revelation access to useful information you can't think the way you are thinking now and rise as a pastor as a businessman as a career person as a student as a family man as a wife as a mother as a child no your thought process thus far is what brought you where you are so you have to think i look at my life today and i look at it maybe five six seven eight years i look at the things i knew and i'm surprised that i could even rise with that level of knowledge because compared to what i know now i was in total ignorance i probably would have argued then but truly speaking i would say i was in total ignorance understanding the systems of god now i'm in shock that's why i glorify god because i see his mercy all the way there is something you can know that will take your church to the next level there is something koinonia can know now that can open us to a new season see leaders learn this you are a pastor businessman leader whatever you are listen to me your ministry or organization will rise and stop at the level of thinking of the leader are we together it is it is it is a very sincere statement you are a ceo of a group that group will only rise to match your level of understanding and stop there because you are the chief legislator of that organization if i stop growing as a person spiritually intellectually otherwise koinonia will rise to the level of my understanding and stop there we will only be recycling knowledge so whilst god is granting me grace to feed you with truth i myself am a student of higher mantles greater graces uncommon leadership and i mean it uncommon leadership you know sometimes when i sit down and read these books or watch these people i sit down and i try to say my god what constructed their understanding to be this flawless access to new ideas number three repetition of the ideas in your mind until conviction is established the third way to renew your mind is not just to have access to ideas but those ideas must be repeated until conviction is established faith comes by hearing and hearing that you heard it once does not mean you have built conviction there are messages i've listened to more than 1500 times one message god is my witness and i lie not the goal is not just to hear i have understood the principle i wish we had time i would have taught you how the mind works right generally speaking there are two dimensions to the mind there is what we call the conscious mind and what we call the subconscious mind the conscious part of the mind is the area that connects with your senses your physical senses that's where you do your thinking that's where you do your reasoning that's where you do your analysis unfortunately that's not where your behavior comes from that's not where your convictions come from that's where your intention comes from the conscious part of your mind then there is the subconscious part of your mind that's the seat of conviction whatever enters your subconscious mind must manifest in your life so the bible says in genesis chapter 11 right when you read from verse 5 and 6 the bible says god came down nimrod the son of cush gathered a people and said go to come let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens let us make a name for ourselves and then the bible says that god said in verse 5 can you give it to us please genesis 11 and verse 5 genesis 11 and verse 5 the bible says that god said there were, he came down to see and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded hold on they had not started building they were mobilizing themselves 
but the bible says god came down to see the city that has already been built once you build it in your mind you build it in your life so says god himself verse 6 and the lord said behold the people is one and they all have one language and this they begin to do listen and now nothing everybody say nothing who is talking here god nothing will be restrained from them not which they intended which they imagined to do it first happens in your mind i saw these days years ago the mental level i am now the physical reality is not yet the reflection tomorrow will tell you my thought process what you are we are enjoying today was yesterday's thinking are you hearing what i'm saying now your family is a reflection of the thinking of your father and mother it's a reflection of the ideas your life now is a reflection of your ideas listen the subconscious mind there's something very powerful about it the subconscious mind does not know the difference between reality and imagination wow it cannot distinguish between what is imagined and what is real in the world of your subconscious mind whether you are looking at this or imagining it it interprets it as real that's why the bible says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or because your imagination is a request your imagination is a request you are crying out to your destiny to come so the bible says philippians chapter 4 please give us verse 8 philippians chapter 4 verse 8 <sighs> thank you jesus finally brethren in light of the fact that your destiny is a sum total of your thought pattern he said whatsoever things are what true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise what's the assignment don't just pray think on these things think on these things think on these things think on these things brothers and sisters i think on many things when i look at you i think of how you will be not how you are now no that's why there's nobody i look at and conclude over no no matter how you are when i look at you my eyes are seeing your today but my spirit my mind has captured your tomorrow I look at my life today and i'm already seeing when the nations will come and worship ah. our hearts our prayer is to see the nations worship our desire and our prayer is to sing your praise from the ends of the earth that with one mighty voice every tribe and tongue rejoices our hearts and our desires to see the nations worship no leader enters a future he cannot see son of man what seest thou businessman what seest thou my brother my sister tonight what do you see i see pain in my family i see divorce i see the fact that i've been delayed be careful you are programming your mind to reproduce that hallelujah are we together pray in one minute pray in one minute and say lord change my vision i have allowed life to give me wrong perceptions and i'm programming my life wrongly 
pray, pray. Salabracosia. We'll soon stop, but I want you to get this law. It's important what you see, your perception. He looked at a weak man, Gideon, and he said, I see a mighty man of failure. Brothers and sisters, since I was nothing and I didn't have anything, I saw a great destiny. That's what I see. I know what I see. In the glory and the power, I see miracles. That's my life. I'm a sign and wonder. It's in the glory and the power I see miracles signs and wonders ago years ago i would go to our boys quarters in the night alone i never knew my mother was watching me i would get a stick and i was seeing these days i was preaching i would stand i would just go imaginary in the air and say in the name of jesus rise up from the wheelchair that's what i was doing and i would feel the anointing because you see your the holy spirit works through your mind I told you, your mind doesn't care whether it's imagination or not. Job said, the thing I feared most came upon me. I thought about it, accident, accident, until a car killed me. All I see is a great destiny. That's what I see for myself. All I see is koinonia rising from glory to glory. I never see bomb blast. I never see trouble. I see myself as a leader over men of influence. I have never seen impossibility in my life. And I'm not just, I'm not joking. I said this when I could not buy a shoe. It's in the glory and the power. I see miracles, signs and wonders. I'm in the glory. And the power I'm a living miracle And a sign of wonder Listen You must stop looking down on yourself Many of you say Why do the heathens rage And the people imagine a vain thing That's why they execute it You imagine a vain thing You imagine failure I am nothing. I graduated with third class. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? I can't speak well. I am too old. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. We are talking about the God of heaven. The one who can change people. Listen. Listen. Someone asked me one day and said, Apostle, God has blessed you so much with gifted people. How do you get them? And I told him, I see them. I see a service conducted by music ministers who as individuals are international figures. You have been allowing the devil plant nonsense in your mind. There are ladies here, whereas there is Esther in you, Vashti is calling you. Your destiny is calling you, but your yesterday is pulling you back. Remember you failed. You failed jam five times. What is the definition of a failure? Then you submit to it. The moment you submit to it, you destroy yourself. Listen, every great man is a man who changed his mind. Literally. Right from the time I was having bread, bread, I will... I will cut the bread and put granite in the middle. 
I knew that the day will come I will feed nations. Ask a Jimmy. We had a song. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord. That was our song. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will sing. Your God as it rises on access to the heart of kings i saw myself i knew that there was an anointing every apostle was connected to kings i found it from scripture and i said no there is a mantle upon my life there are people here from our first crusades we will go and greet kings go and greet the kings in the land it was a seed listen tomorrow will never appear till you call it you will call it your mind is a fruitful part of your destiny the holy spirit is crippled if your mind says yes no demon can say no believe me hallelujah listen the lord gave me a very great testimony i think it was day before yesterday or yesterday something happened and um it's something I had seen in my spirit, I had seen in my mind. And I would not see it physically. And then the Lord gave me a very big miracle. When it manifested and I looked at it, it was exactly what I had seen in the spirit. And I said, this God, believe him. Did you hear what I said? I'm going to teach you the law of faith. I thought we would have more time. There are many laws to teach you. Brothers and sisters, when you activate these things, by next week when we are done i'm going to spend the night before next week praying all the oils that will be used i will lie down and pray on it when we are done that oil as it comes on your head you will activate systems my my listen my brother my sister it will shock you this life you see this life you see is a living miracle it's a product of understanding this is what dominion is it's not guesswork I saw myself walking in the anointing I saw it I saw shadows killing the sick I saw it it's not some vain nonsense imagination I believe it the only audience in my vision yet I pulled it down and it will cause nations to see it you are the first to live in your future and then I speak it Lord it will happen I will stand before kings they will come Gentiles I saw a ministry that was zero, zero debt, zero debt, owing no man nothing as a ministry, dead or alive. I saw it. Where did the money come from? Your mind. There is nobody giving any guarantee anywhere. There are people frowning. My uncle didn't give me ten naira. Nobody's uncle promises him anything. Leave all those dependence, careless dependence everything comes from above it comes through men not from men from god through men to you men are not your source they are channels it comes from god we are going to pray is someone angry are you seeing how you have authorized i've only taught you four laws some of you have missed it in relationships some of you have missed it your gift is not speaking some of you mediocrity just these four laws alone are enough to open your destiny see god instructed me to teach you this series because god wants to roll away shame shame he has taken all the pain you've taken all the lamentation You've taken all disappointment. You've taken all my sorrow. You have taken all my sadness. 
You've taken all limitations You've taken all the pain You've taken all the shame You have made them yours The highest praise to the King what some of your family members would have been had they known this loss they destroyed relationships and it has grounded them some of them the last time they worked was 1997 no door open till today sincere well-meaning believers but they have not understood the systems of the kingdom nobody is born with understanding you buy the truth I want you to lift your voice and prophesy I found my way I found my way I found my way. I found my way out of misery. from the standpoint of these laws I engage them I receive grace lift your voice and pray grace grace to engage these laws grace to engage these laws Not the son of man that you should bear. Hallelujah. You know that song, right? That Nathaniel Bassi song. Just sing it once. I want us to sing it. Let the devil know that we're singing.
I know our time is gone, but let's just pray for two minutes. I want you to forget where you are now. Forget what you cannot eat now. I want you to see a bright future. Draw from that future and start prophesying. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Say back and forth from the heaven higher. No devil stops me. In the name of Jesus. I want to add one last prayer. Our time is gone. Listen, we are going to pray. There is a spirit that can destroy all these things you have had. It's called the spirit of fear. Apostle, will it work? Are you joking? The laws that founded the universe, these are not scientific laws. They were not invented. No, the very laws. Listen, God told Job in chapter 38 verse 33, he says, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? We are not talking about what we are guessing. These are not cunningly devised fables. These are the secrets. You came tonight with prayer requests. You came tonight with challenges. I want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge. Every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing. That's not a sign that you don't have faith. It's a sign that you are in the world. The Bible says, the whole world lies in wickedness. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? True freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting, I am free. When we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you. How many angry pastors do you know? They love God, they jump around, but you do something, they can wind their hand and slap you because, you see, you can claim you are a man of God. You can claim you are whatever, but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you. Listen, the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention. It takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the Holy Spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body. But there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree. Their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation, yet they love God. Their bodies are helplessly executing pornography. Their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things. Then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter. Yo, it matters. Don't let anyone fool you. It does. It does matter. Then you lie down in the night to sleep. And here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady. Sleeps with you. Some of you stand up with bedwetting, you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened. I, I pretend, I didn't see anything. Why are you deceiving? Ah, nothing happened, I'm okay. And you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you. And you come back and say, no, no, no. I, I think there's something I'm not claiming. Look, calm down and let the power of God set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i would see them physically 
lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly into my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um, when you eat in, in restaurants too much, when you eat fried food, lump will come out. Look at, look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying, I like this generation. I like the way science is hiding us from them. A man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again. I think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling. I think the last time we had counseling. One woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services. So they came for counseling. When they came for counseling, I looked at the boy. The mother was so slim. And they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that. And I looked at the boy. And I said, are you in occult? The boy said, yes. I said, who tied your mother? He said, me. I said, why now? He said, they asked him to do it. I said, go on, loser. Who was there? You were there, Lawrence. I mean, this guy saw wonders that will not end. The boy just went, sat down on the ground, carried mama's legs, and started doing it like this. Then later, he would say, remain small. He's about to finish. When the boy finished, he got up. Now, you would have, you would have seen that and said, this small boy, but this boy is only a slave to a spirit. When a child of five years old will not let the mother rest, that coconut head is not the physical head. There is a, there is a spirit that makes that head strong and stubborn. Are we together now? Slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time. There is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you. You become a magnet. You never magnetize anything good. If car is to jam people, you are the one it will jam. If police is to gather some people as suspects, it's just when they are catching people, you just come in. They say, follow them. You say, no, 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 no. I attend Koinonia. They say, go ahead, explain in the police station. Now, you may laugh about it. You may laugh about it. Every bad thing happens to you. Everyone laughs in the class, but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say, why did you laugh? As if you are the only person and you were at the back. Listen. That lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit. He's joining your heads together. And so by coming to his office, you now say, you, I, I don't you smile. What is your name? Now you are entered another level of, of trouble. Humans, victims to spirits. That's what is happening in the earth. I feel very sad when I see people. They get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know. Listen, they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution. There is a spirit that is driving you. When you see favor coming to a man, no, there is a spirit that makes it happen. There is an operation. There is an anointing. Are you getting me now? You can just be sitting down and then God will speak to you. Carry 10,000 naira and give a marker. Why didn't God say somebody should give to you? There is something. It's not just that, okay, God has spit. No, 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 no. If you understand this, you will know how easy it is to walk in victory. You don't focus on this physical body. You focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's when somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because 
the activity of the Holy Spirit manifesting as different things, favor, the blessing, whatever it is, orchestrate events together for you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? As a pastor, the day the anointing is strong upon your life, that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program. You stand and preach your life out and everybody say, Kai, we have seen what, what God is doing through you and uh, Pastor Femi, we really appreciate. Uh, by God's grace, next convention will not forget you, I assure you. And you stand up and go. But someone else, the day he's coming, somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say, let me attend this program. And he comes and says, God has been asking me to sow into a man. This preacher is that man. You think it just happens? The only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what? Everything of worth is planted. Are you getting what I'm saying? Favor does not just come. A ministry does not just grow. Anointing doesn't just come. Revelation doesn't just come. Honor doesn't just come. A man doesn't just become sick. A man doesn't just become healed. Was it not in your Bible? Listen. That the trouble around Daniel's life was the spirit of the Medes and the Persians. Is that not true? It was happening physically through human beings. But it was a spirit. Because it was under the influence of the, the, the Medes and the Persians. It was a spirit that made men to serve idols. And now a man came called Daniel. And he was praying. And his prayer was judging those spirits. And so they could not influence the king. And he made the king like Daniel. Are you getting me now? And the king's liking Daniel made him to subscribe to the God of Daniel. And those spirits said, no, we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and Daniel. So one day you get up and somebody comes. You, you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jammed your head. You and your destiny helper and left. It's not just that a neighbor came. A spirit visited your compound using human vessels. Jammed the head of two people and left all of you together. Are you getting what I'm saying now? A husband and a wife. Lovely people. Romeo and Juliet. The marriage is going well. All of a sudden a spirit lands in that house. And then something happens. A woman who has been minding her business, all of a sudden she looks at a text and doesn't see it properly. And she thinks that she saw I love you to another woman. She carries it and lands the phone on the man's head. Only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something. And now enmity starts. And a lot of people sit down and say, you see, uh, just love yourself, just manage like that. Wait and see the part two of that movie. The Holy Spirit, I mean, the, the demon spirit will come again into the house. Something will happen. That demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job. Are you getting the point now? He will return back home with the anger of his job. That spirit, the same spirit, will start making the woman angry and be impatient. So her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office. What does it produce? Divorce. That's the name. At the end of it, the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents. And the boy who would have loved church, who would have been faithful in church, is now forced to follow bad gangs. You just thought it was a physical acting. The body without a spirit is dead. Every time you see things around your life, not working the way God orchestrated. Don't sit down and discuss. Get into the place of prayer immediately. There is war happening in the heavenlies. There is a clash of spirits. They are claiming your body. Listen. Do you know that when Moses died? Watch this. When Michael came to carry the body of Moses, he found Satan too. Satan wanted to use the body of Moses, enter it and resurrect as Moses. Are you getting the point now? 
resurrect as Moses and start bringing error to people. And he needed the body desperately. And Michael said, no, 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 I'm not going to drag with you. The Lord rebuked you. How many people saw your mother in a dream? A spirit carried the face of your innocent mother, landed it in the dream of her enemy, and she got up and said, I knew it. I knew it. Joshua Selman's mother is a witch. This one, I saw it. The woman came with a knife. How many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards? And, and this is what many prophets see. And because they do not have discernment. Are you getting the point now? They now say, I saw who, some, this and that and that and that. Is it not in your Bible when a, a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of Samuel to prophesy? I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life. I, I, I don't have time for that. I cannot be a victim for the, the failure that is orchestrated. Look at Job. One more scripture to prove this to you. Job, a man who loved God and eschewed evil. But the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens. Job was not there all. A man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you. Your children are on the way. Thunder strikes them. You just finished furnishing your house. Thunder strikes it. Your cattle die mysteriously. Notice all the deaths that happened. There was one, one people left to come and testify. Is that a testimony? Job! I'm the only one who is alive. This is what happened. And then the meeting was held again. And he said, let's touch his body. Ah! So a meeting can happen. Watch this. Let's destroy this family. And they conclude it. You snore your way through the morning. Wake up. And that's the last time you know peace in a long time. You are a victim. Your body is only a victim. Tonight, this is the, this is the theme of this miracle service. Let me tell you. When these spirits clear out of the way, you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you. All of a sudden, you who nobody would call you, you will receive a call. The last time you spoke with that person was five years. He did just call you. The Holy Ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call. Every time they want to think about you, a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering. And when you come to us, men of God, we say, it's okay. Don't worry, things will change. One day it go better. That, 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 no, 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 no. That's why I told you, you must insist tonight. You must insist. You are mighty on your throne. Two things. There are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Three things. Number one, covenants. 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 You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation. Listen, a man can wear the inner wears of a woman, watch this, and be moving on the street. And that man returns back and blessings keep following him. A very stupid man, but good things are happening in his life. Let me tell you why. It's because of the covenant of the fathers. There were people who signed an agreement and said, Lord, we give this nation to you. Anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing. And so, a woman, a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive. In Nigeria, you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die. Was it the knife that killed him? Are the doctors so daft? 
let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways are you following me now please come two people very quickly so that i need to no no sit down pass for me I promise you can come come stand here stand here watch this in my example this guy is a thief this guy is a wrong occupant watch this if this is my handkerchief and ken comes to quickly steal it the moment he hears this my footsteps what will he do he will run away because he's a what thief but if somebody comes and meets promise and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we're going to Yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing 
Fiji Island changed at once. There are so many families that are seated. Part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol, you will never build a house. You will never marry. Contract sealed. Now you came that you are born again and you are moving around. 35, 37, no marriage. The other one too is coming. When you meet pastors, they say, no problem. Are you not born again? Just believe. Marriage is going. The ones that get married, no children. Mysteriously. You are seeing the same patterns happen. Because covenants are powerful. That was the very same principle Jesus used to redeem man. Covenants. Covenants. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Covenants are powerful. Until they are broken. The spirits, the custodian of those covenants are authorized. To still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse six year god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience deuteronomy when you read i think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day. That you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. It's tied to your obedience. The Bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected, when it is complete. Disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives. Don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God, nothing happens. No. It's not about God doing it. It's about the laws in the spirit. They will not change. They didn't start with the Old Testament. Those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully. Especially for those of us who have come. Have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness? in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us you have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story 
because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen i tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time i remember our school getting ultimate power so that we will watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army that this situation in your life must end i sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies a testimony is simply what happens when the holy spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life any other spirit must create problems tonight daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed be addressed that's why i told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what jesus did to the woman who was bound he looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years and he said woman thou art loose loose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to and where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 five points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it? 
you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love Rescue the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet as we sing it one more time. Sepa that conquered the rain lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Lift your hands.
listen deliverance therefore is a separation is the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences the spirits that attempt to influence your life the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation Lord I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let a dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me the power that can challenge any altar the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft any generational cause one more time sing it that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me Rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, say your love. hallelujah lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit Behind failures, challenge the spirit. Behind marital delays, challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. 
He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. Is null and voice any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice and I want you to declare forget about the problems, lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit, address it. Behold, I give you power. Over snakes, scorpions, Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. There are spirits that will never allow you walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will they will bring you into error so that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Shakata Shakate, Sopoto Lekete, 
embriakata lateka tata manto porotoskia seketetete emprokotoskariadaba lift your hands my goodness all i see in this room and outside is fire that's all i see fire you will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen this one is the one that will bring your miracle listen as this prayer goes on miracles will start immediately many of you will start getting reports from your body many of you will be open to visions right now lift your hands hallelujah my goodness there is such a heavy unction on me it's for deliverance tonight it must give way for you to move forward at the count of three hear me listen I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice at the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction as you shout it fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire Mata Labata. father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three second second i command covens i command altars i command spirits bring them out fire 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 brings deliverance tonight hallelujah hallelujah the holy ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here i see many people vomiting poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata shaka ta 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 mare tende tepa father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we have victory one two three shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 e protos mokotos lekotos Pronto tokote eriakata. He must let you go. He must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now
Jesus leave you now hallelujah the Lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out I don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now right now I see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if I don't call anybody's case I'm going to pray for the sick I'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um, Aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies God is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now I'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again 
two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we're not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out i'm hearing a name asabe i don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family asabe asabe i'm hearing that name who is asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again no eh this you are asabe. please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give aaron let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the lord i am the girl who the man of god prophesied i have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once i put my hand i i always notice blood coming out but now I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people. Let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are patient. talking, there is a lady who will come patient. strongly under the anointing outside. Please speak that lady and bring her as we are talking the power of god is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma'am hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it started it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now Gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down praise yes lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest but now i feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give jesus praise yes please praise god 
while he was preaching, I was having peptic ulcer. So peptic ulcer. Out, but while we started praying, it left me. And There's I'm one praying. more outside. Go and carry her. It left me immediately. Now I'm not feeling it again. No pain again. Give Jesus praise. Yes, ma'am. Praise the, praise the Lord. I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But, um... When I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just there's left there's you. No pain again. Praise the Let Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games, please. Check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening as, as a point of contact. As a point of contact. I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump. I'm seeing one on the left, left side. Please check it, check it. When you receive a miracle, testimony is one way to seal it and keep it. The Lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. Help I, us sound, please. Can you help us with this mic? I used to have these pens down my tomac here, but now I'm, I'm not feeling Completely okay. gone. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How long has it been? Yes. Come on, Koinonia. Let's not get too used to miracles in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next person, please. My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My own is like I'm pregnant. It's become like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relieved and my stomach is In fact, open. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost, it's even beginning to embarrass you. It's not just like a stomach protruding. You are feeling it very hard and stiff. 
and it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now God is giving you a miracle God is giving you a miracle God bless you, bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the Lord, so I now shout the stoma is to pay me even before I come to Zaria but I can't feel it again Completely gone. Yes. give Jesus praise it never returns again, yes please praise the Lord um, recently I started having this eye pain when I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, comes, comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Chica concerning pain. Pain. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see the anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself, and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. <laughs> the power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, when, um, it's okay. Um, there's okay. this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice like it's swelling up and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. And I now feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay Completely gone. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the spirit of fear as in I do get scared a lot but I now I'm free in the name the of The spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. 
I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced, I saw that shaking, a baby, I've a finger. I've been shaking it and no I No pain now. It. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. Listen, Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's, if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zah make you a dua, please. You should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her. Please. The Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that? When a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Yes. Do, you, do you have an elder brother? Yes. What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter? Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school though. Is your brother? Yes. Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia. That the Lord said is going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe. Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyo? Titi Lyo. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lyo. Please let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lyo. I'm hearing the name Titi Lyo. Titi Lyo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir. It won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is not word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray. Right now. That you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You, you are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her. Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes, this thing. Is yes, that true? 
your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He raised. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then, don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. Come and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God. Please clear the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles, worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do mighty, you do glory, you do glory, you are a faithful awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well done, sir. Please sit down. Oh, Your dad. Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen. Because it's been long I saw him. He's been, he doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with Mama. And all of his children look at him except me. The same problem that Mama is having. Like, but it's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 
25 years of witchcraft this is witchcraft this is not sickness 25 years of wickedness and oppression father in the name of jesus christ let there be deliverance oh god Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're for God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe? Listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How will you like to have a child? That do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus.
out of her right now. Let her go. Out. Out of her. Out. Out. Release her right now. Madam is saying, sorry, who brought her? I say, I, I go village, now I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. Yes, yes, this is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a. Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In the hem, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. Yes, this is look at look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a whirlwind on his head. You you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding ego to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it go in this place. If you know you smoke it go or codeine, altar, once I make the altar call, just run and come and kneel down here because tonight is your night of salvation please don't play games with your destiny anything you smoke anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency the moment there's time for altar call please make your way here we love you but then the lord wants to touch you let's hurry up because our time is gone your name is here. out
love upon your feet. I'm going to be praying on the request right now. At the same time, an altar call is called. An altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to. Now is the time. You can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad. We're a family. And any other person. There are those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of the way my life is. I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you. Seriously and completely. From this night, take over my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Let your life come upon me. I break free from habits, from sins, and everything that destroys my life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am saved in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus. I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking. You will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday, unfailingly, please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department and um, will fire you up. You'll be with them for at least a month. They will guide you. The gentleman is waving his hand. Salute them, everybody. Congratulate them. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute. Please, everybody, rise. We're rounding up. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request. Your request is here. Begin to speak. Prophesy. Prophesy over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy over it. prophesy over it Lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying Lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence makata lato desetebe Manda prendo so so prida bala da bas caprati gede bele de bos. Prato so prete kete bele de bos. Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, yeah. responsible for any setback. In the name of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. Lord, let your people have testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that every request, every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony. 
in the name of Jesus Christ and you will start to testify before the people of God in the name of Jesus Christ I pray now lift your hands and receive the prophecy I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of Jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion I arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of Jesus Christ for those who are students I pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may you record five points in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing I declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the Lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of Jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the Holy Spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service I call them forth into your life mysterious helpers mysterious helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of God I kill it right now in the name of Jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs we release those jobs right now please believe me as I pray we release those jobs right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of Jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now I speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of Jesus Christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of Jesus Christ I command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may God show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of Jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of Jesus I declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may God use you mightily 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 I declare may the mantle of honor 
come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence I cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may God bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of god there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you have a few details celebrate them koinonia hello Hallelujah. scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze 
And don't forget to like, 